welcome you into the channel. Y'all, I am going to go ahead and record another short and sweet because that one went in a different direction. So that message was intended for someone um, or some people. It was a specific message, okay? Um, I figured it's not going to resonate with everyone. And so let's go ahead and just... Uh, Mm-hmm. Record another one, okay? So let's do that. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clearing precise messages. Let's go ahead and see what we can for this energy. All right, for the short and sweet, Holy Spirit, can I have the energy, please, for this short and sweet? We're gonna do another one for the collective. I'll still post the other one. That must be somebody's message. Some something I said in there. Somebody needs to hear. Okay. Um, I finished the read, but the sec the last part of the read didn't record. Okay, so <laughs> ten minutes of the read is not on there. But um, like I said, that that message must be message must be specific for someone that needs to hear it at this time. Okay. All right. So anyway, thank you, angels and spirit guides. Thank you, Most High, for clearing accurate messages. Can I have the energy, please? Okay. Ace of Wands, all right? Fresh start here, clean slate, a new beginning, a new start to something, okay? There's a new beginning here. Okay, I'm seeing another rainbow, all right? Somebody, you could love rainbows. You could absolutely love rainbows, or you could be part of the LGBTQ community, okay? Um, did one of these cards flip over? Okay, maybe not. Or somebody, you could be pregnant with your rainbow baby, okay? You could be pregnant with a rainbow baby. What's the message here for this short and sweet Holy Spirit? Can I have the energy, please? What's up with this new beginning? Thank you, Father God. What's going on? Okay, this four of swords. It's the, <laughs> I'm going to take it in the upright this time. Okay, the four of swords, all right? Someone, your baby is going to be an air sign, okay? That's for someone. That rainbow baby, you're going to have your baby during an air sign season. Somebody, you could be giving birth this season. What is this? We're in Libra, right? You could be having a Libra or you could be a Libra. Something about a Libra having a fresh start is significant or an Aquarius or a Gemini, okay? Or you're going to have a, a new start in love. Yeah, the hair font, all right? There's going to be a new, a fresh commitment, there's a contract on the table. It's giving like an energy of a contract, but you could, or you could be in a new relationship and you could be newly married. Okay. The eight of swords, or you are about to get married. Maybe you have some fears or some reservations. Okay. You could have some cold feet. Mm, I feel like there's some people coming around that want to try to convince you How do I say this? Somebody could be trying to convince you that they're better for you than someone else. Okay, y'all. Take three, okay? Because <laughs> I've been trying to record this reading and it just, the camera is, the first one obviously was for someone in particular. The camera shut off at the end. Uh, this second time I tried to record, the camera shut off three minutes in. This time we're going to try it again. So I cleared the board, picked up all the cards, y'all. Let's go ahead and give these cards a shuffle and let's see if we can get a message, okay? Welcome into the channel, y'all. This is going to be your short and sweet. I hope you guys are doing great out there, y'all. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this message. <laughs> I'm going to call in my angels and my ancestors. I feel like I'm messing with me right now. But um, anyway, thank you, angels and ancestors. Now a distraction. Hold on. Lord, have mercy. Yes, honey bun. I just turned the camera back on. I thought you was taking a shower. Oh, I'll call you back when I'm done, okay? Oh, okay. I'm not going to let you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all, my husband's nickname for me is so funny. I would tell y'all, but <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all that. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let's get into it. See what I'm saying? The cars, they want to do what they want to do.
Page of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work with you. Okay? Somebody wants to work with you. Okay, so anyway, let's get this message out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Most high. What is the message for this short and sweet? Can we get one all the way through this time? Thank you. Okay, the two of wands. Okay, so someone's making plans here. All right, someone's making plans. What are these plans? The two of pentacles and the ten of cups. So someone's plan, that someone's trying to figure out, they're weighing their options. They're trying to like make a decision. They're trying to choose possibly between two um, approaches or two ways, two options, okay? Somebody has two options, the 10 of cups. It's like, I don't know, is somebody shopping? You're trying to decide which one you should get, which fabric, which color, which paint, which what, 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 what is this? Excuse me. Someone's planning. Okay, there's two people here. It's like they're trying to decide something. What are they trying to decide? Okay, I heard how they should gift you something. I'm drawn to these two butterflies, right? It's like maybe they're trying to figure out what to give you. Whatever it is, the end result is abundance. It's the Ten of Cups, okay? But it's a matter of like which one should we go with? Which, how should, which, which one should we bring? Which one should we offer? Which one should we give? Which one? Both of them with the butterfly energy, something's about to transform your life. You could be, you could have two options. You could be given two choices. Both will make you happy, but you have access to, to, to both. Maybe it's not them that's making the decision. They're just making the plan. Someone's going to come to you. Okay, I'm seeing some paperwork. Someone's going to come to you and present some paperwork to you. Both lead to, yeah, some form of abundance. You could be entering into some form of a contract here with the Hierophant. This is an abundant connection or an abundant union or an abundant whatever this is. Yeah, there's two people. Somebody wants to honor you or both of these choices will honor you. I feel like you're going to be pleased with either one of these results. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Chariot. Something with someone's hands is very significant. The power is in your hands. You're being some you're you're being given some type of power or authority or like you have the final say on a thing. Like you're you're about to make, I don't know, someone's coming towards you. I don't know if they want your opinion and they're like, which one should I go with? And you're gonna choose for them, or you are going to make a choice for yourself. Okay. Now the hangman is here. There's another plan that's being like someone that was okay. There's two people. Thank you, spirit. I got it. So there's two people planning something. One person is planning to come to you with some type of contract. It's abundant. You're going to have to sign, agree, or commit to whatever this is. And you could have two choices or two options. This other person that's planning something, their plan failed. You've gotten the victory Oops, you've gotten the victory over whatever it is they was trying to plan. You've moved away from this person. So someone's plan was to keep you stuck or trap you or bind you in some type of way. So you have two people planning something. One is a good plan and one is a bad plan. Okay. One plan comes with two choices. The other plan, they get to go straight to jail and they do not get to collect their $200. Mm -hmm. 
spiritual bullshit. Excuse me. Okay, that's the vibe. All right, so one plan, good. You got two choices. There's a contract. There's abundance. There's wealth or prosperity. Um, longevity. And then another person that's planning, their plan failed. They fell in a trap. You moved on from them. You're victorious over that plan. Okay? Their plan failed. All right. That's the best way I can break that down. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, the strength card. Leo. A Leo could be significant. Okay? Something could be about to make a, a Leo very happy. Or something, I feel like you could, you could be surprised at your strength or happy that you held out or... It's like you, you're strong. You're strong. You've overcome some form of challenge here. There could have been an obstacle or a challenge standing in between, in the way of you and your happiness. Yeah, you, you bulldoze that thing. You bulldoze that. Okay, and somebody that you were married to or in a commitment with or in a prior contract with could be left heartbroken. An ex could have been standing in the way of something, standing in the way of your happiness. The eight of wands. Oh, so somebody's ex is, so one of them was planning, their plan was to stand in the way of your happiness. So somebody was working behind your back, but you overpowered them. They're heartbroken. You're receiving some type of good news. Or this could be good news that you overpowered this person who was working behind your back. Somebody could have been trying to dominate you. The two of cups. Somebody could have been trying to bully you into a partnership. With the two of cups here. Someone could have been mocking you. The queen of cups. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Significant here. Or it could be the mother of someone's child. Or it could just be a feminine energy. This could be a sister, a mother, a friend, a cousin, an auntie, a, 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 great, a grandmother. This could be a babysitter, or you could be a babysitter. Something about these energies is significant. A Leo and an air sign. So you've overcome whatever. Was this a, somebody's baby mama that was trying to cause some type of obstacles between you moving on? Or a roadblock. I'm hearing roadblock. Somebody could be playing roadblocks. Somebody could have been just trying to cause friction or cause an obstacle or like stand in the way or like somebody didn't want you to oh my god why am i seeing somebody standing in front of a car somebody didn't want you to drive off leave i remember my ex-husband did that to me oh i remember when he did that to me oh that was a terrible fight oh i don't wish that on nobody I remember my ex-husband stood in front of a car after he raped me. And I broke free. I ran out of the house. I jumped in the car. I locked all the doors, rolled the windows up. And I tried to pull out of the parking lot. He got in front of the car. When he got in front of the car, y'all was so mad at that time. I didn't give a fuck. I revved up the image and I was like, you better move out of the way. This dude went and jumped in his car. I drove off. Because he did get out of the way. I didn't hit him, y'all. <laughs> I wanted to, but I didn't hit him, okay? But he jumped in the car and behind me. And he chased me down the freeway, trying to run me off the road. To where I had no, I didn't know what else to do. I had nowhere else to go. I was scared. I was like, if I keep driving, somebody's going to die. I didn't want it to be me. I didn't want to hurt nobody, like an innocent driver on the road. So I just, I got off on an exit. I pulled over and I just sat there and he got out of the car with a crowbar and bust all my windows out my car and then took my keys out of the ignition 
Yep. I hope nobody's going through that right here. Because I shared that with y'all, but that ain't nothing I wish on nobody. Okay? I don't even want to pick up this other card that done fell over here. No, I don't want to pick it up, though. Oh, yeah, look, we not doing that. I am royalty. It, uh, someone, if you had an experience like that with a crazy ex, you'll never have to go through that again, okay? You'll never have to go through that again. And if there was somebody that was trying it, they're going to wish they hadn't. Because somebody was trying to stand in the way here. Someone was trying to prevent you from moving on, moving forward, or ascending even. Somebody could have been trying to prevent your ascension. Someone could have been trying to prevent your connection to God. Like they wanted to block it. Basketball, a basketball player could be significant. The five of wands. Yeah, somebody is fighting though. Or you've had to fight. You could have had a fight. You could have had a nasty, nasty battle here with someone that you were married to. This is whoever this is that's heartbroken. They're either heartbroken because you got away. Why am I picking this up? This who is this? They're either heartbroken. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, but I'm just like, why am I over here thinking? What is this? Why are we there? Why are we? What? 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 Somebody here? Are you in an, ab an abusive relationship? Is someone threatening to kill you? Are you this feminine energy? Two to two energy is here. What is going on, sir? The sun. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, the sun. Now you're not in this no more. But there is somebody that was trying to prevent you from leaving. Now, I don't know if it went as far as how I explained with my life story, right? With that part of my life, because there's more. But with that part of my life, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if if you resonate with that, if that if it's gone to that level, or if it's just the idea that somebody was trying to prevent you from leaving and they put up one hell of a fight to try to prevent you from leaving. But they stand now exposed. They're exposed because you're happy. You're glowing. You could be traveling the world. You could be in a committed relationship where you're very happy, very abundant. Somebody knows yeah, that's the message here. The page of wands, okay? It's it's a vibe here where somebody knows they have somebody good. And they, okay, they got me, they giving me the life lyrics. So when you know you got somebody good, you hold on to them. Must be nice, right? Maybe you did move on and somebody's over here like, must be nice. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo could be significant. All right. This could be an Earth sign and a Water sign couple. Doesn't have to be. A Pisces could be significant. A Leo could be significant. A Cancer could be significant. A Taurus could be significant. The star. 
You got an earth sign feeling like they should have chose you. They should have gave to you. This person could be lonely right now. Maybe that's why they're crying and heartbroken. You had enough strength to leave them. You chose yourself. Because you know, like, look, we I'm royalty. I'm not going to put up with that. I feel like somebody here, you got away just in time. I'm hearing... <laughs> Okay, for some, you got to wait just in time before you saw this person's true colors, okay? Yeah, just before the tower. That's what I'm saying. Y'all, I might not be able to see these cards. Okay, the tower, because the sun is like right there. <laughs> okay? I feel like the sun is shining in your life. This person could, maybe someone's, are they, am I picking up? What is this? Am I picking up on someone who is nostalgic? I don't know. But the Tower of Scorpio could be significant and Aquarius could be significant to this energy. Okay, the Moon. All right, the moon, the sun and the moon is here. What in the world? What in the yin-yang? <laughs> okay, so um, someone here, you're just in some yin-yang energy. You're balanced out. Yeah, somebody, you, you got out just in time before someone's true colors showed through because somebody was hiding who they truly were. Mm. This mm. overall energy, the page of cups. All right, the page of cups here. At the bottom of the deck is the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you claimed your independent independence just in time. You broke free just in time. Cause somebody is 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 somebody's okay. Somebody could be crazy. Or it could be a mon like a monster. Or somebody could get violent. Somebody could be violent. Maybe they didn't get violent on you, but they could. Like they, it's like that you left just in time. This person is watching you. You need to be careful. Somebody got a crazy ass ex here. Because this person is watching you. Oh, yeah. Since you left, you doing better. You look better. Your skin glowing. You done lost some weight. You feeling good about yourself. Your confidence done went up. Your money looking good. You're feeling restored, renewed, rejuvenated. You're getting your energy back. You're starting to smile and laugh again. And they watching. They are watching you be stable. There they are. The nine of swords. Look how he looking. I'm going to cover up these other cards only because I want y'all to see how he's looking at this woman. Do y'all see his face? Can y'all see him? You see you? And you see this man? He's looking back. This person could just well be nostalgic over the energy, over you or something like that. But look how good you're looking. Y'all can't see this, can you? Look how good you're looking. And then look at him looking back like... And that's the nine of swords. And I'll show y'all what was in between. I just did it like that so y'all could see. Like I said, here you are, right? With the nine of pentacles. Oh, I hate that you can't see. The six of uh, pentacles, right? So you're being restored. Life is being poured back into you, right? And then you got him watching the page of swords, right? He's watching you be stable. He's watching you sit on your throne. And victory with the six of wands. He's burdened by the sight of you he's heavily burdened he, he's oh this is his karma watching you be successful watching you prevail watching you have the victory watching you choose yourself watching you look good again after he tried to take so much from you whoever this is this is a, this is somebody's story you're watching you him watching you come back to life <laughs> he's he's it's a part of his karma. He was meant to watch this. 
He was meant. And now he's looking back like he sees what he left behind. But you starting to look even better than you did when he left you, when he was with you. Well, of course, when he was with you, because when he was with you, he was bringing you down. But it's like you, yeah, wow. Okay, whoever this is for, I hope you get this message, my love. Let me go ahead and pull the short and sweet, and then I got to close the lines before I do your um, sidebar LOL. Or this could be, if it, flip the rose, like the, you could be the man. A woman could be looking back, you know, reminiscing, nostalgic over you. And her karma could be having to watch you, you know what I'm saying? Evolve and and life be poured back into you. Take it as it resonates. Either way, y'all, the sun is definitely shining in your life. Or Leo is highly significant. I'm hearing must be nice. Be careful though, because the way he's looking, it's almost like you don't know he's he don't you he's watching you and you don't know he's watching you. Or she's watching you and you don't know she's watching you. Keeping tabs on you. Even though y'all not together. Even though you got away just in time. But it's like his true colors. Because he's angry. He's in the nine of swords. He's he's regretful. He's heartbroken. You know what I'm saying? He could potentially show his ass. Because the five of wands is here. Or she could potentially show her ass. So just be careful. Oh, you ain't got you. Don't, you uh, you're gonna be better than careful. You're divinely protected. You're divinely protected. You don't got nothing to worry about. Oh my God, the double confirmation. It says you are being shielded. So this fool is crazy. Someone's name could be Larry. Wow. Wow. I'm just tripped out right now over the double confirmation. After I said, just be careful because this fool, you know what I'm saying? Spirit come, came like, this is, so this is the this is what they want you to know. This is the whole point of me telling you all of this story is the fact that you're divinely protected. You're being shielded from this ex. Case in point. I hope you guys enjoyed my loves. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>